I think it's really just just wonderful, you know, and I just seeing some more uh, Muscogee Creeks. It's always uh, great to see more Muscogee Creeks. But I think the event is, is really it's it's uh, been um, overdue. I would say, you know, we've been waiting for something like this for a while now. Uh, so far, it's just beating. <laughs> meeting the council and I met the second chief. I haven't met the chief yet, but I met the second chief and the council and because I see pictures of them all the time, you know, but just to get to see their faces and, and put them with the name. Well, I'm technically from Eufaula, Oklahoma, but uh, we came to Arizona when I was a baby. And so I kind of grew up out here and uh, when I had the chance to come back, I came back and I've been teaching on uh, the Gila River for, um, well, since 96, I think about 26 years. Uh, this is a, a exciting to be here, a part of this, and gives me an opportunity to uh, uh, speak the language, mm -hmm. and uh, because I know that's an important part of our, uh, our culture, that we preserve the language. and. Uh, so, but one of the things that uh, Roberta and I have been doing is uh, belonging to a group of uh, other Muscogee Creeks. And uh, so we sing the, um, the Muscogee hymns, and uh, we also share what the, you know, words mean in English, as well as, you know, uh, saying them, you know, so they can hear the word. Uh, and I've met a, a lot of guys and uh, ladies that were running for council or running for chief or whatever. And, uh, and I got acquainted with them, but I didn't really uh, know them because I've never met them in person. I always talk to them on the phone. And, uh, but I always wanted to ask them, why are you running? What, what are you running? And uh, so now I've got a chance to see them face to face and talk to them and laugh and, you know. I just want to reiterate to our citizens, um, both abroad and on the reservation, how important it is that we start engaging every citizen and come together as community. Um, you know, the government long ago um, set out the relocation program to divide our nation so that they could really split us up probably in hopes that we would soon die as a nation. And so my hope is that by putting these outreaches on that I can make connections with family members both in the reservation and outside of the reservation so that we can come together and have some unity. Actually, this is quite amazing to, to be able to, to attend this event. Um, there's just a lot we get to do that we don't have to do through the mail and then a lot of face-to-face -face time with folks that we probably never would have met and meeting the first and second chief and Annie. She's amazing. My favorite part so far was meeting those individuals and actually meeting in, uh, other members of the Creek Nation and learning all the, um, the things that are offered to us. And it's just amazing. I have Navajo friends. None of them have showed me a portrait with their chief and second chief. And for me, it's just being able to take advantage and get things done that I you know, ordinarily wouldn't have to be, be able to do without going through the mail.